configure basic wireless LAN to the wireless LAN controller. Addressing table, you have a router R1, this uh, this is gigabit 001 and this is gigabit 000. This is an error because this interface should be gigabit 001 to the server side. Gigabit 001 on server side. And these two sub interfaces should be placed on gigabit 00.5 on gigabit 000.200 because it's placed on this side, gigabit zero zero on the switch, on the switch side. Okay, gigabit zero zero zero. And don't worry about this, only informational. You have a switch, a lightweight access point, this wireless LAN controller, this a server, up here, admin PC, this, and wireless host, this is the client, the wireless host. Monitor the wireless LAN controller. Wait until STP has converged on the network. Uh, all on green triangles, green, green triangles here. Admin PC and open a browser. Desktop web browser. Management IP address of wireless LAN controller one. This one eight two one sixty eight two hundred two fifty four. And use HTTPS. HTTPS 200 uh, column slash slash 182.168.200.254. Enter. Very good. Username admin password Cisco123. Okay, sensitive. Login. Admin password Cisco one two three login What can be learned from this screen? Okay, this screen you can see controller summary, rock summary, top wireless lines, most Recent traps, access point summary, client summary. A lot of valuable information can be found here, including operating information about the wireless LAN controller, information about the known access points and connected clients, and raw IPs and clients that have been detected on the network. Is the wireless LAN controller connected to an IP? Okay, this is the wireless LAN controller. This is the IP. Down here, access point summary, total one IP. Yes, the wireless LAN controller is connected to one IP. This is shown in the access point summary section of the page. Okay, click the tail next, uh, click here the tail and all access points, the tail. What information can you find about access points on the all access points screen? Okay, all access points. And you can see here's the, the name, address, model, mark uptime, admin status, enabled, uh, and other settings, uh, including the, operate, uh, the version of the device.
Information shown on the wireless LAN controller includes the name of the access point, the IP address, the device model, MAC address, software version, operational status, power source, and others. Create a wireless LAN. You will create a wireless LAN on the wireless LAN controller. Create and enable the wireless LAN. Click wireless LANs in the wireless LAN controller menu bar. Okay, uh, here wireless LANs. Create new. Okay, here create new, go. Use the profile name Floor2 Employees. Floor2 Employees. Okay, sensitive. Be careful. SSID, SSID-5. SSID-5. Host will need to use the this SSID to join the network. Select the ID for the wireless LAN. This value is a label that will be used to identify the wireless LAN is other displays. Select a value of 5 to keep it consistent with the VLAN number and SSID. This is not a requirement, but it helps with understanding the topology. Okay, choose 5. Apply. Now that the wireless LAN has been created, you can configure features on the network. Click Enable to make the wireless LAN functional. It is a common mistake to accidentally skip this step. Okay, Status, Enable. Choose VLAN interface that will be used for the wireless LAN. The wireless LAN controller will use this interface for use traffic on the network. On interface, interface group, select wireless LAN 5 interface. This interface was previously configured on the wireless LAN controller for this activity. Okay, choose this here, wireless LAN 5. Go to advanced tab. and flex local switching and flex local authentication flex connect local switching click here flex connect local authentication click here apply secure the wireless LAN The new wireless LAN currently has no security in place. This wireless LAN will initially use WPA2 PSK security, pre-shared key. In another activity, you will configure the wireless LAN to use WPA2 Enterprise, a much better solution for larger wireless networks. In the wireless LAN's edit screen for the Floor 2 employees, Wireless LAN, click the security tab. Okay, click the security tab here. Layer 2, select WPA plus WPA2. Layer 2, security, WPA and WPA2. And checkbox. WPA2 policy. Okay, you have WPA policy and WPA2 policy. Okay, select WPA2. Enable, not WPA only. WPA2. Okay. Authentication key management enable pre-shared key PSK. Okay. 
Okay, enable this PSK. And use this passphrase, case okay, sensitive. Cisco123, C capital, apply, uh, apply. Okay. It is not good practice to reuse passwords when configuring security. We have reused passwords in this activity to simplify configuration. Then verify back what information about the, about the new wireless LAN is available on this screen okay the ID type profile name SSID admin status security policies admin status enabled the wireless LAN name SSID security policy and admin status are available here the admin status value indicates whether wireless LAN is in operational or not if you click the wireless LAN ID, you will be a, you will be taken to the wireless LAN's edit screen. Okay, click here wireless LAN ID. And this is the edit screen. Connect connect the host to the wireless LAN. Wireless host desktop pc wireless connect refresh to view the ssid select ssid 5 dash 5 then connect and the passphrase case sensitive connect now you are connected link information successfully connected more information here and you can see the SSID, the security, WPA2 personal, okay, WPA2, subnet so max, IP address, network type, MAC address, authentication. Close the PC wireless application and open the IP configuration. Okay, close this. Verify your IP configuration using the DHCP. Using the DHCP, you have this IP subnet mask and gateway no DNS from wireless host. Ping the wireless LAN default gateway and the server to verify that the laptop has fully connectivity. Okay, close this command prompt IP config. Ping the default gateway. This is the default gateway 5.1. Success. And now ping the server. This was the default gateway. This interface on R1, you go with 000, and now ping to the server. The server with this IP address 172.31.1.254. Ping 172.31.1.254. Enter. Success. 100%. Thank you very much.